Hi, my name is Chloe Hager, and for my artist presentation, I chose Renali Mukherjee. This artist was known in India, where she was from, and even though she was a short life that she lived, she really impacted the people of India. I'll be honest, I didn't know much about this artist when I first chose her, but then I absolutely fell in love with her work and how she created these sculptures with pieces of fabric and with her hands and how she created it. Her forte was definitely sculpture, but she did do other mediums, such as painting. In 1949, she was born in India, and then in 2015, she died of lung failure. She was always known to be one to express her work no matter what other people felt. She was definitely ahead of her time, but she didn't care too much about it. Also with this artist, I always would think that I would botch the name in this video, so I hope that I did my best. Her sculptures are made from dyed, woven, and knotted hemp fibers that she found and wove together. And some of these sculptures were a good, going on almost 10 feet tall. She's definitely a smaller woman, but when she put it together, she definitely showed that persistence that she was large in the artist world and that she could make her mark on history. From only dying at the age of 65, she did not get to see her artwork perform its full potential and how her way of art is much more popular now. During the 70s, 80s, and 90s when she did perform these art pieces that are going to be shown on a website clip that nobody appreciated them, but I would say now, definitely in my opinion, they are beautiful. Her sculptures that she made were far too many beautiful creations. Some of my favorites include Ruda, made in 1982. It was a purple-like sculpture that, in my personal opinion, reminds me of a Muppet, or like a King Muppet. And then there is Debbie, made in 1982, with a yellow and beige look to it. I am speechless as to what I could think this is. Um, definitely no critiques on any of these because they are just so remarkable. Then there is Bastinian, made in 1984. It is tan, and my interpretation is that it looks like long earlobes. Then there is Yakasha, made in 1984. It is blue, and as it goes in deeper into the sculpture, it darkens, and it reminds me of a shirt. And then the last one is Pack Essay, made in 1985. It reminds me of a gecko, and it is very, very, very vibrant red. has a lot of wispies on the sides. And all of these projects are up and down, horizontal, and at least a good 10, 15 feet tall. I'm not quite sure exact, and I hope that I pronounce these names right. I tried to the best of my abilities, and thank you so much. The link, the first link in the bottom is to the pictures of each of these sculptures. And the second link is how it, her artwork is put in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. That video shows how the curators set up her works and how perfectly they did so. Thank you so much.